What are some of the tough questions that central banks uh, will need to mull as they uh, try and work on these concepts? Uh, you know, the BIS has put out some foundational principles, do no harm, coexistence, you know, it should promote innovation and efficiency. Uh, you know, smaller or, or no, actually not smaller, but uh, more minute questions as to do you pay interest? Is there a limit on the holdings because you don't want to disrupt your banking system immediately? Uh, there's a whole plethora of issues to deal with here. Uh, absolutely. And that's why my group at MIT spends so much of our time researching this, because there are so many outstanding questions. Uh, you named quite a few of them. I think one of the most important is what type of effect will CBDC have on the monetary system in a country and globally? And uh, a lot of that depends not just on the policies around the CBDC, but also how it's implemented and how it actually works. So in some sense, we have to design the technology and consider the policy in tandem. And that's what makes this so challenging. You can't just go off and decide, I want my CBDC to have properties X, Y, and Z. You also have to think about what the technology can even support and how people might use your CBDC in ways that you didn't expect. So I think number one is definitely um, making sure that it doesn't uh, disintermediate lending or important sort of features like that in an economy. In addition to that, other sort of thorny questions that banks have to think about is, one is cross-border. Uh, how is this going to potentially interoperate with other CBDCs or other parts of the financial system? If we wanna realize the benefit of a platform for innovation, we have to think about that pretty early on. The other big challenge is thinking about privacy and compliance. So uh, when people use cash, there isn't any surveillance happening there. There isn't any record of the transaction going in a database or being sent to a company or other intermediary. And I think it's a really important question uh, to consider what parts of that we might want to replicate in the CBDC experience as well, especially as uh, people in the world globally are starting to realize the impact of having all of their information and personal data collected either within a company or by governments. Uh, it's number one, it can be very difficult to actually protect that data effectively. We've seen hacks here in the US recently uh, where a, a lot of data has been leaked. One way to avoid data being hacked is not to collect it at all. Uh, however, uh, when we start to think about privacy, then we must consider the question of compliance. How do we prevent illicit activity on the platform? We can't just have everything be private completely. So I think this is going to be a really important concern in the coming years.